Hello, these are my toy mummies. I bought a um, that small mummy there was from um, Doctor Who. Um, I generally collect 19th century Egyptian revival and antique books on Egypt and really things from the rediscovery of Egypt from a European perspective. Um, but I, I saw this when I was in the toy shop with my daughter. I saw saw these Doctor Who mummies and I thought that's actually quite a nice little figure mummy. So I got him and that sort of kicked off this very small collection of um, like the mummy in popular culture. Um, I knew that I'd been interested in Egypt and mummies from a child. I knew I had toys uh, mummy toys, um, probably still in my mum's loft, so I, I went up there to get a few of the toys, and then that sort of inspired me to clay a few of these mummy toys, I've quite enjoyed it. Um, this was, this Ghostbusters mummy from 1989, I think, um, he was mine as a kid, and you squish his arms together, and his little little head hat, hat thing pops off, and you see his little head there. Uh, he looks glow in the dark, but he isn't. It's, it's just that sort of greeny plastic. Another one that I was mine as a kid was this um, Mad Balls popping head mummy. And um, you press the little lever on the back and his head shoots off. He was from the 80s as well. And um, there's this Mum, uh, Mum Ra from the Thundercats series. He's from the 80s, obviously. And um, I don't think you could buy those. I think they were, uh, you had to send away for them. Um, and he would have had a black staff with an animal head on the top. I can't remember, I think it was something like a ram or something like that. And a black staff with red horns. Um, so those so those three are all, are all from the 1980s. And obviously when I was a kid. And then from the, in the 90s, 1992... I've got this very small at the front there, little Mighty Max uh, mummy. He came obviously in the one of the Mighty Max play sets. That's that one. I think it's called Temple of Venom or something like that. Um, that's 1992. That was mine as a kid. And um, yeah, so getting that Doctor Who mummy and finding out my old mummies has sort of sort of inspired me to sort of keep a lookout for some of the toys. Um, and I suppose I've got a young daughter, so I'm often in toy shops and um, play with toys with my my child. So um, I keep a look. I've kept a lookout for um, Egyptian themed toys. Um, one of the best ones that I've come across, actually, my wife and my daughter got me for Christmas, but I play with my daughter with it. Is the Playmobil Egyptian set, and there's um, this is an obelisk from that set. So they do it quite a large pyramid with that set and they did discontinue it but they've brought it back again but then the, the original one was that sandy color plastic and i think the new one's blue or something like that but it's a really good set they do some really good figures this is the mummy and um, but inside that's a playmobil skeleton but the best thing about that is the little um, sarcophagus you can see there that's the obviously the playmobil sarcophagus and that's really nice it's got the uh, like a anubis face mask on and um, yeah they do some really nice bits with that set obviously it's not old but I've collected a few bits which aren't old um, like one of them is this um, Matt Hatter mummy that's in the box I've never seen Matt Hatter but I was at a local boot sale and I saw that and it was a pound and I thought oh for a box mummy figure for a quid I thought that's um, couldn't leave it there for that and um, yeah, I think oh, this one just here is one of the little um, Lamax. I think that's one of the little haunted village figures that they have out for Halloween. Um, or oh, missed out the canopic jars. These little canopic jars are from um, the Playmobil set. And um, unlike when they did the Mummy, and there was five, the Playmobil set have actually done four, as there should have been. And, um, yeah, I think that's everything there. Oh, um, the only other thing is this this Red Nose. Um, in the UK, they have a charity event called Red Nose Day. If, um, 
and obviously they originally were just plain red noses but then every year they bring out different characters now whereas the mummy one is uh, one of the characters they brought out this year so obviously being a mummy I, um, actually my daughter got that for me um, yeah my daughter got that for me so um, yeah there's me my Egyptian mummy toys and since I've got into a few bits which are Egypt in popular culture I've um, started picking up these um, comics now that that comics from the 1970s so that's quite a nice bit of retro the mummy memorabilia if you will um, so I've started to get a couple of those and um, talking of um, the mummy um, I'll do a future video with some of the toys that were associated with that um, yeah I've got um really they do a lot of figures from that were inspired by the mummy 1932 Boris Karloff um, obviously I've, I've got mummy films as well uh, though that's not the earliest mummy film the um, there was a silent movie which predates that by 10 years so there so I'll do a future video on those but um, as for um, actual figures this is my collection so far and um, I'll do an update if I've I get enough to do another video. Hope that's been of interest. Thanks very much.